Whew. How are you guys holding up? This place is... Wait, no. This place is a literal hellhole. Keep it up, Megasaurus Rexor. I'm sure there's a reason why we're doing this. So let's do our best. Oink. Huh? Do you hear that? Oink. Squee. Huh. That sounds... Uh, sound seems to be coming from somewhere nearby. Oink. Ah. Uh. What is that? It is clearly a pig. It kind of looks like a bat, too. I mean, it has wings. Oink! Ah, oh, what a sweetheart. Can we keep him? What do you what do we want to name him? Um Well, so in the past two games, we had cat we had a cat named dog and a dog named cat. I I don't know what I should go with this guy. What do we name him? Bacon, flying bacon, pig named cow. Ooh, pig named cow ain't bad. Bird, baconator, cow, bird. A lot of a lot of birds. Clearly a bird. <laughs> Let's call him clearly a bird. Heh. <laughs> oh, can I can I change this? No, I can't. You belong with us now, cutie. Hey, what is he holding in his mouth? Whoa, what is this? Looks familiar. I think it's some form of currency. How? Oh, there's a letter in the envelope. It's starch! The currency we used back on Earth. Free starch! He's bringing ho a home the bacon. It reads the starch are offering it's collected from the altar donations up on the land of the living. They are then brought to the chefs in remuneration for feeding and appeasing the gods. Ooh, yay! Cool! What can we use starch for, though? Oh, our shift is ending soon. Better figure it out later. Let's go! Okay. Oh, the shop's now open. Let's go check it out. Shop. You can spend your hard-earned favor in the shop to purchase newer, better stations. This fryer will produce good quality fried potatoes if the sinner's malice is above 70. Definitely a level up from the basic fryer we have. Cooking a dish with good ingredients will result in higher rank, which gives more favor. Higher rank dishes also give more god EXP points and will also give you more special blessings as they level up. Looks like Loki is leveled up. Hover over, hover over Loki to see his blessing. Cool, I'm going to let you decide what to upgrade it yourself. Let's start our shift. No, I want to I want to buy stuff first. Excuse me. Hold the phone. Okay, so it's 50 favor to get a couple of these things. Well, what do we use the most of? Green and yellow it looks like. Okay. And then we're going to stop here. Let's see. What do we do? What is this? Storage. Oh. So I can switch these out. Minimum requirement 50, but perks for higher. Okay, well, let's start sorting people. Let's see. So we do not want to sort uh, sort people in machines if they don't quite fit. Okay, so we've got a red. We've got a green, we've got a yellow, and we've got a blue. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be too interested in what uh, what these guys are, are good for until later. Okay. So fulfill three orders. Dish containing... What? Okay, that's a new one. So he just wants something with any of these. We don't have anything green yet, so I guess let's just go with uh, potato skins. Okay, and I gotta remember to keep uh, sorting folks in here. Nope, nothing on that. I guess I'll just get a yellow and a green. Oh, and it uh, it does not actually tell me 
uh, the, the dishes are done beyond like a small pop-up in the right. That's good. Wonder's eyes derped. Dude, I am tired. <laughs> it has been a long week. Okay, so we've got blue, red. Though I gotta I gotta upgrade those. Actually, speaking of, it's shop time. Uh Sure, why not? Screw it. Okay, dish containing whatever the heck that is. Uh, let's do bowl of mashed potatoes. And let's go back to sorting sinners. Nope, can't. Green? There we go. Yellow. And blue. Because, yeah, a couple more dishes and we actually uh, will have enough favor to get whatever he needs. 34. Uh... I guess I'll just sort red, blue, <sighs> would have been a good red, that's a great yellow. Okay, dish containing, whatever the heck that is. My problem is I'm not very good at uh, recognizing these based on uh, pure uh, visuals alone, but that's okay. I wish I could actually click on these, uh, on the, the little pop-up and it would actually just automatically present uh, the thing as tribute. It's a weird game. I don't mind it though. It's simple. Okay, so we've got. Yeah, let's keep going with that. I don't entirely know what's better, good or not. Okay, well we've got a fair amount of these guys. At some point, I'll have to sit down and probably just farm ingredients. Uh. Instead of, like, really going out of my way for some of these things. Okay, so... He, yeah, he just wants dishes containing various stuff. Instead of anything specific. What's up with this? Oh. Okay, so this is my, uh... Oh, I could change my flag design whenever I want. I guess by, uh, unlocking things we get... We get new, uh, flag upgrades. That's kind of neat. Okay. Oh. Let's see, so blue, green, yellow, red. Oh, I see. New dish done means I've never cooked it before. Okay, daily report. Sinner sorted, 28, dishes cooked, 5, or just completed 5. Okay, I could stay or we could just keep moving on. Let's, let's keep uh, moving on. Phew, good job, Megasaurus Rexer. You too, Dante. Just try not to turn the stove up too high, okay? <laughs> There's a fun and mild fl flame. Huh. Dante's Inferno. Pretty sure she came here for arson. What? Hey, I heard that. Though, you're probably not wrong. Heh, <laughs> anyway. You guys are picking things up fast for uh, newcomers. You're not- you're not new, are you? Um, uh, eh. To be honest, I was wondering too. You seem to know this place quite well. To be honest, I didn't do too well before, which is why I got held back a circle. But I'm feeling positive! The three of us make a great team! Also, with Tammy as our manager, I'm sure we'll be able to do well. I have a good feeling about this! Come on, let's go back to work! Okay, do we have anything new in the shop? Doesn't look like I got anything of any note or value in the shop. I wonder if I could actually start pre-cooking stuff. Can I? That's an interesting question. I'm not gonna start doing that until we actually need to worry about stuff. At some point we will have to, to think about that, but later. Okay, so blue, green. Yeah, the problem is a number of these sinners are coming through are, are uh, subpar for what I'm looking for. I wonder if I get uh, I wonder if I uh, get better ones later. Okay, dish containing whatever that is. Yeah, the other thing is there's a couple of dishes that actually use up two ingredients at the same time. 
Okay. Plating up. Uh, abducted a cheetah. Green. Screw it. Screw it. Damn it. Unfortunately, we didn't... Uh, that was a bad cycle. It's probably better that I just wait. Okay. Oh, score. Minimum D+. Plus. Okay, do we have anything that double uses red? Boiled potatoes. I didn't realize he had a second order available. Okay. Uh, let's see. Back to centers. Red. Yellow. Green. Blue. I don't know if it's better to have... Nothing or... Well, I don't know. If it's better to wait and get the better ingredients, or rush and uh, actually have spares, it's probably better that I... Well, I could always just hold myself back. Uh, until we get a second god here. Uh, making demands of me. Uh, until we get a... Yeah, it's probably better that I wait and sort them properly so we get good ingredients. Okay. Sort medium. Keep sorting these. Yeah, I'm not paying attention, uh, because he's saying something ins instead of, uh... Instead of actually, uh, requesting any kind of dish. And I'm not paying nearly enough attention. I should be, but unfortunately my, uh, my eyes are broken. Let's see. Kind of works. Let's see. So he's got... He's yellow, blue, green, red. Okay, let's see if he's got another one. Oh, and we leveled up Loki. Okay, score D+. Plus. Well, that's not really hard. And I'll just try and avoid using the... Uh, I'll just avoid using the things that I don't... Uh, don't have as many of. That'll probably be one way to kind of keep it going. Daily report. Hell yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, we're slowly building up our stock, so I, I think I can keep going. At least for a little while longer. Hello, fresh batch. You guys are actually doing pretty well. As a result, all of you are promoted to the next circle. Be prepared. Because things are about to get a little heated up. <laughs> we are now closer to our goal. Congratulations! Go get some rest. You spuds deserve it. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. We did so well. Well, aside from Dante almost burning down the entire kitchen. That wasn't intentional. But it could be. <laughs> You're so funny, Dante. Always a the jokester. Uh, so what's the goal she mentioned? Oh, hmm. I'm not sure if I should tell you guys now. I mean, they're just rumors, but... I promise to tell you later on, okay? I'm sure Tammy will mention it soon. Circle 2. Lust. Sweet. Nothing but the most, um... Lusty of... Of chicken thighs. Hello, chicken cutlets. We're up to another circle. The circle of lust. But this doesn't mean we can get complacent, you hear? Anyway, down to business. <clears throat> oh! Hello, everyone. Oh, my devil. Mr. Yamsey, what brings you here? You rarely venture out of the bottom three circles. I am simply concerned about how your our younger chefs are doing. I'm whipping them into shape, sir. Not to worry. Every spuddy. This is Mr. Gordon Yamsey. Oh, Gordon Ramsey. Shit. I thought he was someone else. Anyway, let me go back to reading this. Is that Gordon Ramsey? It is Gordon Ramsey. I don't actually know what Gordon Ramsey sounds like. He's got an accent. Uh, I thought I, I was going with a kind of uh, semi-racist thing, uh, considering the eyes. Yeah, he's not blonde, which threw me off. Uh... Well, I give up. Yeah, I know he's supposed to be British. He's he's supposed to be very British, but he doesn't not look British in this game. Which confuses the shit out of me, but whatever. Uh, so here's the report on our progress. 
Oh, I see. Head of head chef and leader of the gatekeepers. Okay. Oh my devil! OMG! It's him! Jesus Christ. Uh, is he famous or something? It's only THE Gordon Yamsey, one of the best chefs in the world. I heard from the other chefs that he was a five-star uh, restaurateur who owned multiple food empires back when he was alive. His managerial and culinary abilities are unparalleled. That said, his dishes make you feel like you're soaking in a warm bath after a long day. Why is he in hell then? Well, I heard through the grapevine that he was supposed to be sent to heaven. But he was given a high-ranking promotion here instead. Uh, due to his masterful... Okay, position here instead. He is responsible for overseeing the food production due to his masterful cooking and management skills. And he's just okay with being here? Yep, yep. He took it up as a challenge and has been here ever since. I heard that once he served an annual hellish god and goddess banquet all by himself when all his chefs were down with a bout of soli solanine poisoning. Solanine poisoning? What? Are your memories that thoroughly cleansed? How can you not know what solanine is? It's a deadly substance, especially lethal to us potatoes. In the past, warring spud nations used solanine to help them gain advantage in the war. Usually by trying to poison the enemy, but they also coated their weapons with solanine. When the banquet came around, Gordon's chefs came down with solanine poisoning. He had to serve the entire banquet all by himself. Isn't he amazing? Indeed, Mr. Yamsey. I... Okay, honest, honest assessment, I can't actually do, um, I can't do a British accent. I can't do accents at all. Uh, and for some reason, I don't know why his face looks like that. I am very confused. And a little bit worried. And not really sure what to do here. Uh, I mean, I could actually just go watch, like, a very short clip and try and mimic it. But it would have been really hard. Oh, well, it's really hard to just pick up an accent like that. Um... Because, yeah, this is all voice acting practice for me. Sort of, but... I, accents are not something I'm, um... Uh, capable of doing. Whatever, I'm just gonna read it normally and we'll just skip past him. Hopefully he doesn't talk to us that much. If he does, then I'll have to pull up a proper voice, but... Obviously, me giving him the, like, uh, short, bursty, angry voice could work, but... Give him an Asian accent that sounds British. You know, I'm just gonna go back to my original, um... Uh, kind of pseudo-racist, pseudo, this is not Gordon Ramsay at all voice. And we'll just uh, nod the fact that I'm wildly incorrect as far as voices go. Keep up the good work, work chefs. And he's gone. Thank God. Did you see that? He spoke in my direction. Pretty sure he was looking right at me. Ah, this is the best day ever. Well, that was Gordon Yamsey for you, fellas. Very famous. Very good cook, indeed. One day. Oh, oops. I was thinking out loud. What are you spuds waiting for? Here's your task list and objectives. Get to work! Work! What was that? Huh, who knows? So about this recipe. Hey, you kiddos! Hi. Who are you? Details, details, push! Don't worry too much, I'm one of you guys! I'm the proprietor of this fine shop. Shop? Where? Here! Whoa, there's so much stuff in your pockets. Where did you get them? Never mind that. Do you want them or not? Just bring me some starch and I'll... And these could all be yours. Oh, we have starch. Ah, so this is what they're used for. Fantastic! Come take a look at the goods! Okay, so we can get fast gears. 
Increases station processing speed for the next five centers, 20 centers. Oh, that's interesting. So these are power-ups, boosts. Huh. Toppings. Logo items. Interproblem. Okay, so 50 for the next 20. Or 125 for 30. What's the pit production speed? Station. Oh. Toppings and logos seem permanent. No. They're not. Oh. He doesn't have any. Wait. I see. Okay, so well, we've got one of those. I'm gonna get two speedy gears uh, for production. I don't know if it's gonna matter too much. Well, this is interesting and very confusing. What the hell? Hello, chefs. I am Thanatos of the Greek Pantheon, the god of non-violent death and the son of Nyx, goddess of the night. I look forward to what you'll be serving me. Hello, glad to be of service. Is no one gonna mention his outfit or lack thereof? Very good. Hey, you look familiar. Aren't you the god who fills the pit with dead spuds? I guess not. Yes, I carry the spuds who await their judgment. But if they're dead, haven't they already been harmed? How does being a non-violent god work? But, um, well, I wasn't the one who... I don't harm them. But they've been harmed, no? Yes, that is right, but... That's why they're dead and here in hell. I... Full moon! Wah! Uh, what? I was just thinking about it, it's too painful! Those poor spuds getting savagely beaten and suffering so much torture. Um, how about we get some food to cheer you up? That, that sounds good. Um, let's not tell them how we get ingredients for our dishes. Welcome to the Circle of Lust. Unfortunately, we leave all the favor and stations, we had to leave all the favor and stations we had in and circle one behind. They're not usable in another circle. At least we get to keep our starch. That earthly currency isn't affected by the circles of hell. The- Oh my god. <laughs> the statues in the background. The more favor you earned, the more starch is awarded to you at the end of the day. Look, the gods have given us a new set of stations and some favor to start our service. I suspect this will happen when each time we get promoted, so let's manage our favor wisely. Oh, guess what? Looks like one of the stations is broken. Stations break when they run out of durability. Durability is reduced each time the station is used. Hover over any of the stations to see how much they have left. Let's fix the broken station. Right click on the fryer. This is the station menu. You can repair your station or move them around from this menu. Repairing stations usually takes some time to finish, but it'll, I'll help you speed it up this one time. Yay, our station's back to mint condition. We're all ready to go. Before we start, it looks like a new item has been added to our shop. Let's check it out. This tab shows you permanent upgrades for your facilities. Oh, uh, keep an eye out for new upgrades. Let's buy the research lab. Whee! Let's go see what we can do with our new research lab. I'm trying to click on it. This lab allows you to research new recipes using the ingredients you have in storage. The better the quality of the ingredients you use, the faster the research will be. Later on, gods may request these new dishes, so be, we better be prepared soon. Research dishes tend to be better ranked too. How awesome is that? Okay, I'll leave it to you to decide what to research later on. Or what research to do later on. Let's start our shift. Items unlocked, new logo items. Okay, well, it's not costing us time right now, so potato stir-fry, pastry, well, let's start researching everything. Don't you start the game on me. That's not a, that's not acceptable. To spare, not to spare. A thoroughly spokes, oh, a thoroughly soaked spud wearing a pair of tight spandex swim shorts walks towards you. I was just 
freestyle swimming in the ocean. Oh, swimming in the ocean, freestyle, of course, and I swear I heard the familiar tune. When a shark is approaching, the next thing I knew, I was dead. I was really good at cooking mackerel. Let me in your kitchen to help. Hello? This swimmer potato into your kitchen. Yes. Result. You let the sinner work in the kitchen. Putting on an apron, the spud got to work immediately. It turns out to be quite a good cook, despite only knowing how to fry up mackerel back on Earth. Cooking time reduced for the next dish. Huh. I was expecting more like permanent, uh, permanent upgrades. No, nope, that's maxed out. Oh, there we go. And I guess we'll just wait on these. What else do we have? So storage. Ah, we got power-ups if we need them. And we do have... What are these? So quick fryers. Or blessed. Produce fried potatoes when malice is at... Most 80. Good quality output. Good quality output and 50% chance of producing extra good fried potatoes. If malice is between... 40 and 60. So quick just uh, deals with stuff at twice the speed. This has a chance of putting out bonus resources. I see. Oh. Quickly produces boiled potatoes when pride is at least 50. Good quality output if it's between 70 and 100. Wait, hold on. Good quality output. Oh. Produces fried potatoes when malice is at most 80. So we... Interesting enough, this is actually one where you want to go with mediocrity. Also, the uh, the background elements are kind of amazing. Kind of stupid, too, but kind of amazing. 